how to uh, get more exercise with no time, how to uh, reduce pain in your body naturally, and how to kind of get rid of that old achy feeling. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can do that throughout your day that takes no time. The only time is watching this video. So watch the video to the end. And if you like it, please like it and comment and let me know, like, do you already do this and how, how, how it makes sense to you, okay? So we are taught to sit. We're really good at sitting, you know, in the office, at school, in our couch, in our car. Uh, we've been trained our whole life to sit still and that makes the body age and it's not good to get oxygen into the body to reduce our risk of cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. So what you can do to reduce your risk and feel younger and sexier and just like so good in your body is to create a dynamic work space or to create a dynamic life. So what I mean by that is a fluid space where you can like move freely in your space. So if you're working at an office job, that might mean um, getting a kind of stand-up workspace and learning how to interact with your space so that you can stand and sit. It might just be as simple as taking a stretch break every hour or so. Just inhale, stretch your arms above your head, stand up for a minute. And that is technically a dynamic work space because you're not sitting for hours and hours and hours, which makes your arteries get really, really stiff. And then every hour, you know, your veins calcify by like 14%, which is a, a precursor for heart disease. And anyways, I could go on about that, but I'm not going to. Then what you could do, no matter what your space is, let's say you're retired and you're like, I don't work anymore. This doesn't affect me. Well, actually, you do stuff throughout the day. So basically what we need is a fluid space where throughout the day we could maybe get up and down off the floor. Uh, uh, for my mom, I moved all of her coffee mugs high. So every day she's got to reach her arms up high. So that's a fluid space where her arms are moving and her hips are moving and everything's moving, right? So getting down to the floor, stretch your arms above your head and consider, you know, are you always sitting in that 90 degree chair shape? And are there other shapes that you can take to engage more with your space? So for example, there's different rest poses. You can check out my rest pose video. There are different ways of sitting on the toilet with a squatty potty where you're squatting throughout the day if you're working at from home. Uh, getting up and down off the floor, sitting on the floor is really, really great. And basically you want to create a workspace where you're moving, where you get your arms above your head once in a while, where you stretch your hips once in a while, and you just move your back. You can twist or whatever, just a little bit of a stretch. And you know, that's one of the reasons why I resist teaching chair yoga is because we're really good at sitting in chairs. And that is where a lot of our diseases and problems come from, is creating sort of clumps of body that are sedentary and just being really good at that when there's so many other things that would make our body just feel amazing. So right now, reach your arms above your head and if you're sitting, stand up and feel alive. Get out in nature. Oh my gosh, I'm going out in nature right after this video. Cassie Love, please let me know. Do you know all this? Has any of this made sense to you?